After a few Royal Caribbean cruises, everyone develops their own cruise traditions that we do on every sailing. Today, I'm sharing a few of my favorite must-dos that I pretty much do on every sailing up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from Royal Caribbean Blog and I wanted to share 8 things I must do on every cruise I take. These cruise habits are part of what keeps me coming back time and time again and I think you should give them a try on your cruise as well. The first thing I must do on every Royal Caribbean cruise I go on is eat at the Windjammer on Embarkation Day. It's not a cruise in my opinion unless we get to the port a little before noon, get on board so I can have my first meal at the legendary Windjammer Buffet. Ever since my very first Royal Caribbean cruise, I've always had the first meal on board the ship at the Windjammer. And I think having my first meal there cements that feeling of, you know, I'm really on a Royal Caribbean cruise again in my mind. For me, it's that moment where I sit down with my plate full of food and a big smile comes across my face. And oh yeah, there's also lots of great food to be enjoyed here as well. The next thing I must do at least once on my cruise is go for a night swim. Anyone can swim during the daytime, but on a Royal Caribbean cruise, I love to put on my bathing suit late after the sun goes down and hop in the pool. Night swims are a great experience. With the new giant movie screens near the pools on most ships, it's really fun to take in a great film while swimming around in the water. It's a great family activity too, and the perfect way to end a great day at sea. This next one is a bit of a guilty pleasure, but that is watching the Shore Excursion Channel Loop through a few times. And this is something probably sounds very silly to do, but I really love to watch the Shore Excursion Channel in my stateroom when we're just laying around the room, maybe getting ready to go or having you know a little bit of downtime. There's just something about that supermarket jazz music playing in the background or maybe the monotone voiceover descriptions that I just like watching it. Cruise in style aboard a fast cat catamaran to discover scenic vistas and underwater marine life. And really, this is about the idea of watching this channel to get an idea of what to expect in the ports of call we're going to visit. But I really find the channel strangely mesmerizing, and I'm not afraid to admit it. So I'll definitely spend a little time watching that on a cruise. The next must do on every Royal Caribbean cruise is catch a performance in the pub. Of all the live entertainment on a Royal Caribbean ship, one of my favorite evening activities is to sing along to my favorite bar hits in the pub on board. Pubs are available on most Royal Caribbean ships that are ratings class and larger, and I love the type of music played there. You, the tunes in the pub will range from oldies to 90s and the decades in between. Basically, these are the songs you're likely to know all the words to and have likely heard in many bars over and over and over again. While many cruisers equally enjoy the live music in the schooner bar at night, the acoustic guitar melodies of the pub are a personal favorite of mine. A big favorite of mine is to also sit by the pool while the live band plays. Picture this. A sunny day with maybe just a few clouds passing by, sitting in a lounge chair at the pool deck with an optional drink of the day in your hand, and the band playing red, red wine as you take a sip and close your eyes. Ah, that, my friends, is a perfect moment on a Royal Caribbean cruise for me. And the live music on a Royal Caribbean cruise is among the best hidden secrets. Royal Caribbean's dedication to live music has become something I always look forward to and enjoy the live band at the pool is just icing on the cake. Next thing I love to do on every Royal Caribbean cruise is read the cruise compass from cover to cover. When we get back to the stateroom after a great dinner, the first thing I look for is the next day's cruise compass newsletter waiting for me on the bed. Each evening, your stateroom attendant will leave the cruise compass on your bed with perhaps a towel animal surprise too for you to read. And I love looking at everything inside there. To me, this is the New York Times of cruising. And it's just one of those cruising traditions that I love to do. Sure, I get a sense of what activities are coming up the next day, like Michael Jackson line dancing anybody, but it's also fun to immerse yourself in everything going on around the ship. Another really awesome thing to do on a Royal Caribbean ship, something I try to do every time I go on a, on a cruise, is try the escape room. If I'm on a Royal Caribbean ship with an escape room that I have not tried yet, then it becomes a must-do activity. Escape rooms challenge your brain and teamwork skills by attempting to solve the clues and escape before time on the clock runs out. Whether you're already a fan of the escape room trend or just eager to try this challenge for the first time, I think you're going to enjoy the thrill of trying to beat the escape room on select Royal Caribbean ships. And yes, they're all different across the fleet. And the last thing I absolutely must do on every Royal Caribbean ship is share a photo of the fun I'm having with family back home. There is nothing wrong with a little humble brag. And I try to take time on every cruise, to take a family selfie and share it on social media with my family who could not join us on the sailing. Showing friends and family at home all the fun we're having is a two-pronged strategy. First, 
It shows off all the fun we're having and offers a chance to glow just a little bit. But more importantly, my hope is that these same people seeing this photo will be inclined to join us on our next cruise. There you have it, my friends. Eight things I must do on every Royal Caribbean cruise I go on. Did any of my favorite must-dos make your list? I'd love to hear your favorite Royal Caribbean traditions also in this video's comments, so make sure you leave that there. And while you're down below this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications, so that way YouTube will let you know when we have a brand new video. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.